Can I take your permission? I'm one of the co. Yes, sir. Go ahead, sir. Characterized by weight, and insulin secretion, cotton crop, patient term. Now, as per the prevalence of diabetes, four hundred in million, six forty two million in two, mainly type two. Thank you. One of the greatest challenge encourages now. How to prevent the long-term complication of diabetes because which mortality? Now it heart attack, arterial diabetic, cardiomyopathy, glaucoma, diabetic. Same was microalbuminia level type two diabetes. The change with glycosylglobin. As well as duration of diabetes. A one C level are higher in diabetic patient. And almost it is ten years from the date we diagnose them. Model of micro and microvascular complications. There is a strong evidence for glycemic control contribute to microalbuminuria. Although the exact cause is not known, there are various uh, background theory we know now about it. Diabetic nephropathy has been known to lead to chronic kidney disease, and it is a major cause of DKD in our country. It is uh, defined as uh, 30 to 300 milligram per day of urinary protein excretion or 220 to 200 microgram per minute. Currently, diabetic nephropathy is the leading cause of chronic kidney disease in 30 to 40 percent of the patient, including end stage renal disease. Total 110 patient was. Now we have uh, in the Department of Medicine, Parul Sevasram Hospital. Uh, after uh, uh, being taken care of inclusion and exclusion criteria, uh, complete blood count, renal function test, glycosylated hemoglobin, urine microalbumin, and uh, albumin creatine ratio, sonography of abdomen and pelvis, and all relevant investigations were done. So 63% were male and 38% were female. HB1C right from 6.4 plus to 10.5 were the range of uh, HB1C. Now, microalbuminia, when it was hemoglobin uh, glycated was less, more than 7, it was 54%. Normal, 22%. But if the HB1C was less than 7, then microalbumin was 14.5%. And normal albumin was 18. Among 110 known diabetic patients, 63 were male, 36 were female. Mean duration of diabetes was 8.7 years. The mean HB1C was 7.9. The microalbumin was 92.8 in our study. Microalbuminia was found in 65% of the patient when hemoglobin glycate was less than 7%. Now, the, this is the natural history of diabetic nephropathy in type 2 diabetes that we know very well. The level of glycated hemoglobin uh, is very well correlated with the microalbumin. It is the glycated hemoglobin as is the most commonly used measure for to diagnose diabetes, including chronic hyperglycemia. The observation is that 60 patients, that is 54%, for microalbuminuria when the glycated hemoglobin is more than 7%. When it is less than 7%, the total number was very less. 
we conclude that screening for urine albumin among persons with diabetes is widely recommended for the detection and treatment of insipid diabetes nephropathy and affects the physician's implementation of therapy to slow down the progression of the kidney disease. Despite widespread recommendation for screening of persons with diabetes for both glycemic control and urine albumin, there has not been a systemic assembly of the literature to assess the risk relation between the test assessing long-term glycemic control or test assessing the presence of microalbuminuria with cardiovascular, peripheral vascular, renal neurological outcomes. Despite its devastating consequences, microalbuminuria is still a largely unrecognized risk factor and a large proportion of individuals with diabetes are not regularly screened. That's the reference. I thank you for your